English, but basically this program is going to be introduced to the people in the states to show that we have uh, found farmers that are willing to improve their coffee beans to meet the market demand in the United States. That's what basically we want to do. We found a lot of interesting farmers here and uh, very good people that we, we've come to like a lot. And so uh, basically this program is to introduce the standards for specialty coffee as we're going to try to introduce them to the United States. And uh, I'll say you can tell you in Spanish what I just said. I'll go from there. But, uh, basically, it's, uh, this is going to be a future ongoing project. Okay, training and then uh, introduction to what this uh, this gentleman here, Mario. Mario is the, he's the one that's going to oversee all of this. What's his last name? Anyway, uh, Mario is the one that's uh, gave us the idea to do this, to invite all the farms together and uh, to introduce this specialty coffee that all of you guys have been. Good bean coffee, but you gotta get the process and stuff done correctly. Okay, okay so I want to great, uh, great, great, that the fact that we have very good coffee here in Colombia, especially in Picalito. And uh, the problem is that most of these guys here don't know what do they have in their hands, what kind of quality do they have and so um, so they don't care much about the process they just want to you know come up with a, as much coffee as they can so they can sell to the big corporations that uh, uh, are gonna select the coffee and make all the earnings so what we want to do is we want to train them in uh, what is called the uh, root process uh, of coffee and so at the end of the program, they will have not only good quality of coffee, but good standards of procedures. What's that, uh, that, what's that going to do is they're going to increase the value of their coffee and they're going to make more money. And, and that way that is going to increase the uh, quality of life. It's going to better your quality of living because you're going to have a better farm, you're going to have clean procedures. So what we're going to do here today is we're going to introduce a program. It's going to be done with 15 farmers, no more. And um, so we're going to select the more, uh, what we call the ones that are really committed. Right. They're really committed to the program. Um, so at the end, we'll have the results that we are expecting. So um, with that, I'm going to leave with Mario. Mario is the one that's going to do the whole program. Go ahead. Go ahead. You want to introduce it in Spanish? Because no, um, okay, in Spanish. We can, um, what we're doing here is um, we are trying to take advantage of this window that uh, the uh, Colombian government has opened up for us. And what is the window? The window is the possibility that, that, that each and every one of these guys, see these are the producers, these are the farmers, and they produce some good coffee. They can now export small amounts of coffee. That has never happened before in the history of Colombia, never. So they can export small amounts of coffee. So we can supply the small coffee shops, small coffee shops. Maria's Coffee Shop, Mocha's Coffee Shop. These little coffee shops in the towns and cities in the United States, they consume about 50, 60, 100, maybe even 200 pounds of coffee a day, every day. But they have never been able to get fresh coffee straight from the farm, never. You know, the, the, the coffee they consume in the States Usually, um, they consume it after a year that it's been picked and it's been packed and it's been in storage uh, in a warehouse like this for months. And then they put it on a ship, it takes another few months and they get it down there, they store it again, they store it uh, 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 another few months before it gets to the consumer, you're talking about a year. You're drinking a coffee that has been a year. So we are offering these coffee shops to supply their coffee every week or every month. 
or whenever they want it. You know, keep it fresh. You know that they pick this week, process it next week. In two weeks or three weeks, they will have the coffee recently picked from the farms. So that's the window that we have and we're gonna take advantage of it and we're gonna make all we can to make this uh, a reality. Okay? Right. You have, you wanna add anything? Well, right. just that, uh, this, this is all voluntary. The, the farmers don't have to change anything at all that they're normally doing. It's just that we would find out their samples, find out their profile of their coffee, yes. what they can produce. We'll advertise it yes. into the United yes. States. And when the, the, any company wants the coffee, they will contact the farmer and will order this special coffee. We have to change nothing at all until we order the special coffee. When we order the special coffee, then we deliver, we sell it to them and bring you the money. So it's very simple. It's good. We're going to try to keep it real simple. We're starting out small, but this is how we're going to start. Okay, you want to tell okay. okay. No, um, I think that's good. Okay, ahora sí. <laughs>
Ángela, descríbeme el café, por favor. Eh, ese café es con un cuerpo muy sedoso. Uh -huh. Cuerpo... Eh, más cremoso, uh -huh. tiene notas frutas, sí. muy marcadas, sí. el sabor residual perdura en boca, uh -huh. además de que tiene una acidez brillante, uh -huh. es un café que, <coughs> que es muy bueno, tiene mucho futuro, pero en este caso, este café da como Todos los cafés que hay en mesa están, creo que muy frescos, por esa razón nos dan estas notas, pero es un poco de recocido y maduras para tener un buen resultado. Muy bien, muy bien. They're all very unique, good flavors. Huh? They're all very unique, good flavors. Okay. okay. Si en este caso hablamos de que este café tiene el compañero de una mesa, este mismo café trata de demostrar comportamientos diferentes. Tal vez sea por la tusión, porque en este caso esta tusión está un poco más alta y esta está un poco más baja. Thanks to a new law passed by the Colombian government through the National Coffee Federation which allows small farmers or distributors to export small amounts of green coffee to the states or to any part of the world for that matter. Never in the history of our coffee exportation dealings has it been possible for small farmers or distributors to do this. It was always a monopoly for the big companies and the National Coffee Federation itself to export the coffee to the world. And they have done a good job at promoting and placing the brand Juan Valdez in the market, which identifies the quality of our coffee. But the processes of exporting were too complicated for a local farmer to even think about doing them themselves. Now we can export coffee via airmail, FedEx, DHL, etc. And have it delivered right to your door in a matter of a few days. Can you imagine that? Fresh specialty coffee straight from the farms in Pitalito, Huila, Colombia. In a matter of a few days. With each order, the profile of the coffee, the name of the local farm and area it comes from can be provided and offered to each customer. <laughs>